So security, as it pertains to bugging out and survival situations. You guys may know by now that we're filming a series on my new book on bugging out and survival, just those particular subjects. I'm going chapter by chapter in my new book, which is part of my survival and bug out kit that I use and that I sell. We're out here doing some survival training in the very remote area of Central America right now. And here's the book. This particular episode of security is here on page 15. Episode one is survival basics. Six is water. Excuse me. One is survival basics. Two is water. Three is fire. Four is the rule of threes. And this is episode five of security. Okay. So getting down basically to the nitty gritty of security and how that applies to you. Well, security, in my opinion, is something that's very important. And I think it's often something that's overlooked in a lot of bug out and survival plans, specifically survival plans. But really humans and human nature is always kind of a constant, right? And people are going to take advantage when people are hungry and they see someone with food that is an easy target, they're going to take that food, right? It's just, it's just always how it has been and always how it will be, at least on this earth. And we want to have a plan in place for security, but security doesn't necessarily mean having the biggest gun. I do stock my survival kits with a knife, but a knife is a multi-use tool. It's not necessarily a weapon, it can be used as a weapon, but so can a lot of things. I would like to recommend taking security one step farther. And when I talk about security and bugging out or survival end of the world scenario, whatever you want to think, we're discussing and what we're really talking about is always going to be situational awareness first. Now we're, we're here in an area as well that's absolutely extremely dangerous. And one of the most dangerous places in one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Very notoriously known. There's a, it's middle of nowhere. There's no cell phone signal. There's no electricity. And there's one road through town. It's a mountain road and it's notorious countrywide for highway robberies, right? For assaults. We chose to do our, our entire series here and security has to be a top concern for us. I could liken it to a condition of how things would be in a first world country like the United States in an end of times or end of world or in a public disorder, a natural disaster, directly after a natural disaster like Katrina type scenario. Our concerns are really, like I said, situational awareness and having a plan. So it's everything starts in your mind, right? Be aware of your surroundings. And then from there, um, if you want to know about home hardening, booby traps, all that kind of stuff, setting up a perimeter, it's always a good idea. I've got a full video filmed right here on that topic called home hardening. And we discuss that, right? You can put booby traps, trip wires, trip wires with alarms, all that kind of stuff. Pitfalls, traps, booby traps, just Google booby traps. I mean, that's, you know, great. Something you can do. Always something to consider that you don't want innocence getting caught in your booby traps, but that's something. Definitely have a machete, have a tomahawk. A breaching tomahawk is great to have. It's a great deterrent if it's in your hand. It's definitely something I would recommend brandishing long before you brandish a firearm. I don't really ever recommend brandishing a firearm. Uh, if you're going to brandish something, a, a bone breacher tomahawk is a great thing to brandish. It's a, it can be a very good situation diffuser. From there, I think we want to look into, you know, training and being able to be adept at using any type of, if you do choose to carry a weapon, be, be adept at, at using it, said weapon. But really, like we're, we're saying here, it's all about in your mind. And what's, what's my number one tip? for bug out and survival. Well, you may have noticed that I completely changed clothes here. And what I'm wearing right now is what I believe to be and what I've shown to be 
uh, really beyond the shadow of a doubt and with irrefutable proof, to be the most effective camouflage in the world. So one type of security is being able to go into a rural environment and blend. Right? Because if nobody can see me and if nobody knows that I'm there, then nobody's going to bother me if nobody knows I'm there. There's also an entire gray man theory playlist here on the channel. And I would definitely recommend studying up on gray man theory as far as security goes for being in urban environments, but making that transition from an urban to a rural environment and having a bag like the gray man operations pack here, and just having the ability to throw on a camouflage backpack cover and, and completely camouflage yourself is really something that is incredibly underrated, right? I can disappear into the wilderness and you've seen every other one of these videos that we're filming so far that we film all the other episodes were in wilderness and the wilderness is, is right there, right? Right behind me. We're, uh, we're camped here on, in a little abandoned house on a river and in the middle of nowhere, no lights, no electricity. Uh, and I mean, even this house, we were gone for a while and had, uh, some issues with even having caretakers here and stuff and people checking up on the property had some issues again with, with, uh, the dangerous areas and people breaking in and stuff like that. So I'll show you, um, a couple examples. And so maybe kind of what we're doing is crossing a little bit over to the hard target side. So you can see, you know, somebody jimmied their way in here, uh, broke in and, you know, used the building for things that we won't really fully get into right now, but we're making our presence known out here and that's kind of a, a hard target thing. The, the, the door was kicked in as well. So, you know, we're looking at definite um, security issues. And, but now that we're here making a presence, you know, an armed presence, we're also, you know, taking advantage of this opportunity to make these videos and whatnot. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more of the location if you want to come with me, but it is kind of a, an idea or a consideration to think about whether you want to go, you know, camouflage and into the wilderness. This is all just mountain wilderness and uh, just for, for miles and miles and miles. So you want to make that consideration or whether you want to make your presence known. But if you do want to make your presence known, then you, you want to make sure that you, that you have a, a team and that you're, if you're going to play the hard target role, you better be ready to play because in an area like this, when you set yourself up as being prepared to defend an area, you need to be prepared to defend it. Because when the people come at you, they're gonna come hard and they're gonna come fast. So definitely take that into consideration. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on security. Bone out.